Good morning and happy Monday. As you guys can see right here, I am rocking the old style money aesthetics right here. I'm wearing an H&M top with some Taylor chinos. You guys see that look peeping it? All right, I told you guys in the last video that you need to dress for success. And today I'm dressing like succession, so let's jump into the week. It's the current way of life, meeting after meeting, so I gotta eat lunch real quick while on another meeting. Monday recap from my humble abode. Today was quite the day. It was back-to-back -back meetings. Uh, that was very just eye tiring, really. Uh, I don't mind being in meetings all day, but when you have to stare at a screen, I don't know how some people do that for literally the entire day, my wife being one of them, power to her. I just could not ever do that, which is why I'm so happy I'm in outside sales. And today what we did was we went over the packet insert, also known as the PI, and I wanna let you guys in on something. For you to be really good at what you do, you really have to understand not just the sunshine and rainbows of your product, but also the adverse events that we call AEs. The reasoning for that is when you're having conversations with the patient coordinators, the physicians, different providers, APPs, um, just basically the, the entire platform that of people that are within a call point, you really need to understand the good and the bad of your product because you being able to have a clinical discussion with those people are what's really going to drive the needle for your business. They need to know that they can trust you and that if you don't have an answer to something that you know how to get the answer for it. But the biggest thing about it is just knowing that you understand your product forwards and backwards and that includes all of the bad because obviously with these kind of therapeutics within the oncology space, there's always some kind of AE. And you really need to understand what those AEs are because when you have those conversations and those discussions and you're making all of your talking points very patient-centric, you need to understand what the patient is going through. You need to understand the types of questions that your patients might have and some of the events that might go on in their lives that would lead to those questions so that when you're having those discussions with the providers in the office, they understand that you get their problems and their frustrations and you're able to basically become another extension of their team instead of just somebody bringing in a product. So today was an extremely crucial day. It was well put together. Um, one of the best classes that I've taken so far and just very excited to continue to progress within this. And again, this is just week two right now of training. And then I also got to meet a lot of my extended teammates. When I say extended, I mean like counterparts in different divisions that are all working within the same territory as me. And that goes from reps to um, leaders, to your medical science liaisons, which are the ones that can answer those not packet insert questions, the ones that we're not allowed to, but we can get those, those questions and feed them off to other uh, professionals that are on the same level as the physicians that are asking those questions. And uh, who else? Oh, and then I also got to uh, interact with my future field trainer. So today was, like I said, a very packed day. And what I plan on doing and hoping that really this brings and drives some success for me is the fact that I'm going to write down every one of those uh, person's names that I met today. I'm going to try to make sure that I keep the faces to the names from obviously just being on a quick meeting. But once I actually get into the territory, I'm going to make it a thing that I go and have a coffee with every single one of them. That's going to one, set me apart, I feel like from a lot of the other partners that have possibly joined the team or not been on the team before. And at the same time too, I'm building my network. I tell you guys all the time, you got to build your network and that is key. To what's happening. So today, I want to say it was an awesome day. Tomorrow, it's a little bit of a lighter workload. And then Wednesday, we have an exam and it's going to be, I think, the first true exam. All the other ones have just been within the training module. So I'm getting ready for that. Until tomorrow, guys. All right, let's get Tuesday started. Wait a second. There we go. Much better. We can go from 
Mad Grinch to Happy Grinch since I'm wearing an H&M Silk Blend Polo with a vintage tailored chino pant. Looking good, right? Looking good, still going with that old money aesthetic. And some of you guys might be wondering, where did Pierre get these ballin' ass chanclas, all right? So as cool as I am, I apologize that I am also, <laughs> I got bad feet. So I have to wear orthotics in my house and those are my orthotic slides. So if you have a problem with it, bring it up. All right, all right, all right. It has been one hot minute since I've done a car vlog. It's just the camera, my bad, go ahead and go. But I figured because I am out running some errands, I can go ahead and do my quick recap for Tuesday because I have officially finished the uh, online trainings for today and I've caught up on basically my self-taught sessions and I've got some errands to run. It's a busy next couple of weeks with the move coming up in like 15 days or so. So I gotta do whatever I can, whenever I can, and you know, just spend the evening studying like I have been because we only have so many daylight hours and things like that before, you know, kids get home and all that jazz. But let me just recap real quick. My, my biggest takeaway that I want you guys to understand from today was we went over one of the three different trials for the drug that I will be um, basically educating on. And what I got from today is I'm gonna really need to focus on putting some attention toward my pre-call planning and understanding what some thought provoking questions are with the providers I'm going to be talking to. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is really just trying to understand what their questions might be on top of what the patient's questions might be based around not not just what I brought up yesterday, which are the adverse events, but also your inclusion, exclusion criteria, um, the common the commonalities between between all three of the trials that I will be essentially educating on and and having a better understanding of and what I what I gather from all of this is again this is an extremely patient centric sale and I don't really like to call it a sale I like to go in and say that I'm really doing educating on what it is that I do because while yes the end goal is to get a patient to be prescribed my product how am I going to get a patient to be prescribed for my product? And that's going to be by being as clinically knowledgeable as I can be around the product that I have. And on top of that, understanding what I need to do when it comes to having that discussion with the provider. Because if I can't have a clinical discussion with a provider and be ready to answer whatever questions that they might have at that time, they're not going to have trust in me. And I don't find it hard for me to begin that studying process and doing what I need to do for this role because this is the types of roles that really excite me. This is what I struggled with my last job because I just wasn't excited for it. But it's these kinds of conversations, these, these life-altering conversations that truly matter. And I feel like if I can take anything away and I can share it with you guys, it's finding a position or a product or a company that you can really get behind because that little bit right there is what's going to drive you to be successful because right now while we have a couple of online classes that we do in sessions most of this is home study you got to do the reading yourself you have to understand the readings and if you have questions come prepared with questions so that they can give you answers within the online classes if you're not doing that on your own then you're really going to struggle and if you can't you know pull yourself to wanting to do that on your own then this really shouldn't be a field that you should be going into because again patients lives matter and this is when it comes to patient care Patients are the very first thing that you should be thinking about. And if you can't keep that as a top priority and a top focus, then I highly suggest that you don't come into this field. But I hope that helps you guys out for today and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, familia. How we looking? How we looking? Today what I'm repping is the Built Basic in Tote 2.0 pant. This is your everyday pant with the Built Everyday Black sneakers. 
And would you guess this? This is not polo. I know it's missing the emblem here. This is just an Amazon basic polo. This is what's up, all right? Let's get to work. All right, what a day, what a day it has been. It is now Wednesday recap time. And man, I am exhausted. Not only did we have just a ton of stuff going on today when it came to uh, training sessions, but we had a plumber come, we had a uh, cabinet crew come because some of our cabinets were messed up and we needed to get them fixed before renters show up. So it's just been one of those days. And then of course, as soon as our kids get home, one of them uh, ends up having an ear infection. He's just got all this pussy yellow goo coming out of his ear. And that was, you know, just the cherry on top of it all. But there's actually several good little takeaways from today. Um, the first one being that I passed my exam. So when you guys are going through your training programs, just know that you will be being tested from time to time. So I did pass my exam and uh, feeling good about that. It's going to be one of many more before we get into our face-to-face -face discussions. But what, what really highlighted my day was I actually scheduled two um, more benchmark calls. And I'm really excited to get into those because they had several questions that I really love to just answer. One of them being, you know, just tell me a little bit more about the differences between medical device and pharma. Why did you choose your route and different things like that? So it's a little bit easier on the phone to, you know, really get into depth compared to like these videos. But uh, maybe one day I'll just jump deeper into one of these videos or ask one of those people if they mind me recording the session and I can share that with you guys. But the biggest takeaway is even when things are exhausting as can possibly be. There's always some kind of, I want to say, light at the end of the tunnel, this light being the sessions that I was able to schedule and also just the fact that I passed my test. But as I told you guys before, this is kind of what it is right now. It's packing, studying, rinse, and repeat. So if anything fantastic happens, I will let you guys know. And until tomorrow. I got soaked dropping the kids off at school. Let's get dressed. Let's jump into Thursday, but before that, outfit of the motherfucking day, right? So here we got, from Stately, we got a pair of white sneakers, which are unlisted, with some Ben Sherman pants. And then for the top, what we've got going on right now is a French brand called Selected. And I'm digging it. It's raining, and I'm ready to jump into today. Good morning and happy Friday. It is finally cooling down here in Texas and I'm able to whip out the Suit Supply Sweater Polo, which is a mixture of wool and cashmere with the Buffalo Chinos and the Built Basic Everyday Shoe. Loving it and it's time to get to work. Let's hit up that recap by first starting off with my brand new whip. Nah, I'm just kidding. That is now my loner until our car gets back from the shop because I had to go take that in to make sure that it was ready for this long road trip. And it's just one more added thing to the long list of things that you have to do while trying to move to a completely like different state and at the same time starting a whole brand new job. So to recap the week, it has been a hell of a week. Uh, and as you guys can see, having to basically live in this chaos with boxes everywhere and putting your things um, away and trying to minimalize everything. It's just a complete mind fuck, pretty much like 24 seven. So I am at the like edge of finally just losing it. But the, it's, it's, I guess a good new piece of adversity to go through while also training because it's exactly what I have to go through right now. So it just kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Like I used to always tell you guys. And with this recap, really, I just wanted to show you guys what uh, this last week was like. And for the most part, it's just been a lot of studying and then a lot of being a husband and a father and a lot of packing. And this is going to lead us to the last week, which it's literally what, uh, maybe seven more days, a full week until we 
have an eight-wheeler show up and we get out of here. So things are getting real. And of course, during this time, that's when we haven't been sick for a while. And then our son gets an ear infection and I got to go take the car for this. My wife is getting a tattoo finished up. Um, daughter has her wellness check. I should have had, I think, a wellness check or something, but didn't go ahead and do it just because we don't have the time. I'm working with people that are going to be renting our house from another country. So I'm helping them with the process of figuring out what they need to do with electricity and the water and all of those things. And then it reminds me, I'm going to need to do all that as well. So now I'm reaching out to our landlord to try and get that information. So it's just been a wild ride. But I've got some awesome feedback from that last video that I posted. If you guys haven't seen it, it's the one where I'm basically just showing you guys a quick overview of the OR etiquette. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying that. Hopefully I can do some more things like that. You know, you guys send me some of those options. I have been doing more uh, phone sessions and I'm going to start asking if I can possibly record those. It's they're interesting sessions. I, I feel like a lot of the people that I talk to are in very similar boats and Maybe if I put a video out there of uh, people that are kind of in the same situation, they'll be able to kind of understand that. Cause that's the whole purpose of this channel is just showing you guys that I'm just a normal everyday person trying to go out there and, you know, hustle, grind, but at the same time, just chill. It, it, it's not all about just trying to make the paper, it's trying to make both ends meet while also having a fulfilling lifestyle. And for us, that's going to be the move. We are trying to get out there, want to buy some land, get some horses, chickens, cows, all that kind of stuff, but it's going to take time. It'll be a journey. And this is just the beginning.